Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to crop your photos for Instagram for the portrait size four by five ratio without having to cut off most of your photo. This doesn't work on every photo, but it works on simple backgrounds or pattern backgrounds. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turn on my post notifications for more tutorials. And if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below and follow me on Instagram. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up this photo and it is just going to open up in Photoshop here and I'm going to unlock the layer so it's not a background and then I'm going to go up to the crop tool. Um, this will automatically crop your photo to the four by five ratio if you have a preset. Um, you can put in the pixel amount if you want. There's tons of presets you can use um, or here you can just put in what you want for pixels. I made a preset for Instagram so I just already have the four by five ratio already set up. So what you're gonna wanna do is stretch out the sides just like I did and then you're going to click the check mark. So you're gonna have a checkered background. That is just letting you know the background is transparent. Now making sure the layer is selected, I'm gonna go up here to the marquee tool and this is kind of like a selection tool that's like a rectangle. I'm going to drag a little box. So as you can see, my box has some of the photo and some of the transparent background. And then I'm gonna go to file and content aware. And that's pretty much it. It like literally has a brain of its own and it's awesome. How to get rid of the um, lines is like, you can just click on it um, when you see the little box there or you can move it around. Um, there's tons of different ways to do this, um, but I'm just gonna show you guys the easiest way. So making sure your main background is selected, meaning layer zero in this case, um, you want to do that same thing to the other side. So grab your marquee tool and then go up to edit and content aware, but see my layer's not selected. So making sure that's selected, edit and content aware fill and that is how you get your photo to be four by five ratio and not have to crop the photo. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm going to save it as a quick PNG and I'm just gonna call it final one or like final PNG so we know that this photo is actually ready for Instagram. So now I'm going to delete everything pretty much. Um, oh, this is me just showing you how it would have looked if I just cropped the image. It would look like that. I would have no headroom. It would literally just be my body um, with the background. I wouldn't have any headroom. And I really don't like that. So this is just so much better. And I highly recommend it if you don't wanna have to crop your image and your image is like 16 by nine. Um, ratio. So now I'm going to drag and drop my new photo that I want to show you guys into Photoshop. There's probably a better way like file import but I just like to drag and drop. I find it to be the easiest and it works. So I'm gonna press enter and right here this is, well I'm gonna delete the other layer because I don't need that anymore. But as you guys can see this is a smart object and um, actually I'm just cropping the image right now so you guys can see what it will look like. Um, that's what it would look like. It would cut off, enjoy the cup, part of the cup, and I don't want that cropped and cut off, so I'm going to extend it. Now, like I was saying earlier, the layer is imported as a smart layer. We don't want that because you can't use the content aware tool. So what I'm gonna do is go to layer, rasterize, and then you're gonna click smart object. So if you wanna rewind that and watch that, I know it's kind of weird, but um, we wanna rasterize this because we want the pixels to be like set in stone. Now I'm gonna use the marquee tool and now I'm going to use the content aware tool just like I did in the last little picture there. And as you can see, beautiful, seamless, looks like it's just an extension of the photo. I'm making sure that that layer is selected. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if I have the other layer selected that I just um, created. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this because I made this mistake. And as you can see, it totally 
looks ridiculous and awful. Like that's the way my photo would look. So I'm gonna undo all that because we don't want the photo to look like that. So selecting the correct layer, which is the original photo, um, we're going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to select the area and then use the content aware tool. Now this one kind of works, kind of doesn't. It's kind of funky right there on the left side, but overall it doesn't cut out anything and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna export this one and actually use it. The next photo that we're going to edit is totally not gonna work. At least in my opinion, it looks ridiculous and I don't like it. So I'm gonna delete um, all the layers. It won't let me delete this one, so I'm just gonna drag and drop the new photo in and press enter to import it, delete the old one, and going to come up and rasterize the layer. So layer, rasterize, and smart object. Now I'm going to take my marquee tool again and um, select the area, partially the photo, partially the transparent background. And now you're gonna see, look at that. That, you can see part of my arm, the tree is just copied over. It really looks like a bad Photoshop job. Um, so I'm gonna try it again. You can select a little bit less of the original photo um, and I'm gonna see how that's gonna look. That looks a little bit better. Um, it's just actually loading right now. Um, see that one looks a little bit better but you can see the repetition in the photo. Um, so I'm just gonna select okay so you guys can see what the actual photo looks like. Selecting the correct layer again, the original layer. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and um, using the content aware and the marquee tool and it's loading right now and that is what you get. You can see the repetitiveness. It just does not look very good in my mind, but if you like this or if you have a better way of doing this, please leave that in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Um, I'm sure that there's another way to make this look um, better probably using the clone stamp tool, which again, I'm not a big fan of. It takes forever um, and this is very efficient and everything. So here are all the photos. I'm gonna blow them up so you guys can have a better idea of what they all look like before and after. Um, I did not do anything or save the bad looking photo. So um, you can kind of see what they all look like. So the, um, the peach wall photo looks good and the every cup is an adventure looks really good. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and took something away from it. I'm sure that there's other apps that do the similar thing. If you know of any, please leave them in the comments down below for other people. I know not everyone has Photoshop, but this is something that I kind of learned on my own, kind of learned through YouTube, but no one made a dedicated video for Instagram and I hope this helped you. So anyway, that is going to be it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.